welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you in this video we will solve problem 2.3 and 2.4 let's start with first problem 2.3 uh, the statement of problem is two gauges marks are placed exactly 10 inch apart on half inch diameter aluminium rod with modulus of elasticity 10.1 into 10 raised to the power 6 psi and an ultimate tensile strength of 16 ksi. Knowing that the distance between gauge mark is 10.009 inch after load is applied, determine the stress in the rod and the factor of safety. So let's start with given data. So given data is that we have two gauges mark, uh, two gauge marks are placed exactly 10 millimeter apart on a di half inch diameter aluminium rod. So we have basically aluminium rod clear that diameter of this aluminium rod is half inch clear and there are two gauge mark that are apart 10 inch clear uh, so D is given diameter of rod is half inch and modulus of elasticity E is 10.1 into 10 raised to the power 6 psi now an ultimate strength of 16 ksi it is also given that ultimate strength is 16 KSI. Knowing that the distance between gauge mark is 10.09 after load is applied. When you applied a load on that rod, so let me draw the same rod. So if you apply the load on this rod, clear. So now the gauge, the distance between the gauge mark is 10.009 inch clear so we have what we have to find to find first stress in the rod that is P or F sorry the stress not load so the stress in the rod and the second part is Factor of safety. Now we will move towards solution of the problem. So dear friends it is given that uh, initially the mark gauge length was 10 inch and after the load it becomes 10.009. So you have first we will find the change in length that is change in length is original length fi uh, final length minus original length final length is 10.009 and original length is 10 so that is 10.009 minus 10 inch so change in length will be 0 0.009 it means that after applying load the length of the rod is has been changed to 0 0.009 mean increase in the length of rod is 0 0.009 inch clear now also we know that uh, uh, stress that is stress we are going to find stress now this stress is equal to uh, strain into modulus of elasticity clear and the again this stress is equal to uh, this modulus of uh, sorry this strain is equal to change in length divided by original length okay original length okay now uh, and multiply by this e clear so the first point was to find the stress clear so we will put the value of uh, e that is uh, what uh, was the value of e that is 10.1 into 10 raised to power so 10.1 into 10 raised to power 6 that is the value of e clear now change in length is 0 0.009 inch and divide by original length that was 10 so if you calculate this stress value that gave you 
नाइन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर थ्री पी एस आई सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन सॉल्व दैट द स्ट्रेस इज जीरो नाइन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन इंटू टेन एस्ट पावर थ्री पी एस आई क्लियर और यू कैन से स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन के एस आई so this was the first part of the problem now we will move toward the second part and the second part was to find the factor of safety clear now in previous lecture we have also discussed discussed that factor of safety is equal to ultimate strength over stress clear given stress so ultimate strength was given as 16 and uh, 16 ksi clear uh, and the stress that we have calculated above is 9.09 ksi so factor of safety comes out to be 1.760 so means the your design is safe safer and the stress that is uh, 9.09 is safer for this factor of safety so this force this stress can be applied on your design rod uh, this was all about problem number 2.4 now we will move toward problem uh, sorry problem number 3 and we will move toward problem 2.4 The statement of problem is that an 80 mm 80 meter long steel wire of 55 mm diameter is to be used in the manufacturing in the manufacture of a pre-stress concrete beam. So you have a beam in which 18 mm steel wire of dia 5 mm will be used. It is observed that wire stretch 45 mm when a tensile force P is applied. When you applied an unknown force P, the stretch the wire stretch 45 mm. So change in length will be 45. knowing that e is 200 mega giga pascal uh, determine the magnitude of force p you have to find p and you have to find corresponding stress in the wire so let's start with our given data so given data is that you have 18 mm length of rod is 18 meter and diameter of this steel wire sorry wire that is wire 5 mm wire to be used it is observed that wire stretches so change in length is 45 mm when for load p for load p that is unknown knowing that e e is given e is given as 200 giga pascal you have to find first part the magnitude of force p that you are going to apply in the second part is corresponding normal stress so this was all about given data and the required data let's solve with the problem as we have to find the p and we have also length d and change in length s so let's start with change in length that is given as 45 mm now this change in length is uh, represented by formula pl divided by ae which we have already used in previous problem that is equal to 45 mm now in this formula we have value of uh, we have value of a we have value of e and l we do not have a but we have d and we calculate we can calculate the value of a so by the, using this formula you can find p and the p value will be equal to p will become equal to 45 multiply by a into e divided by l now we we do not have a so as we know that area a is equal to pi by 4 d square and that is equal to pi by 4 5 square and this area comes out to be 19.63 19.63 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter 
so now we have all the values we will put in this formula 1 let's say name it is 1 so p become equal to 45 and this 45 is in millimeters so we will multiply it with 10 to the power minus 3 because here you are using area as square meter so this multiply by 19.63 into 10 to the power minus 6 into e e is 200 uh, gigapascal so 200 multiply by 10 to the power 9 layer and this will be divided by the length and the length of the rod was 80 18 meter so if you calculate all this you will get the value of load that is 9817.5 newton so this was the first part that we have solved now we will move toward the second part in second part we have been asked to find the corresponding stress again this load so it's very easy as we know that stress is equal to force per unit area and this is 9817.5 and the area that is over here 19.63 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so this value comes out to be 500 into 10 raised to power 6 pascal or you can say that is 500 mega pascal so the stress is 500 mega pascal so this was the this is the answer of part b if you have any problem you can comment in the uh, comment sections thank you for your watching thank you for watching the video